The $25,000 mistake being made by millions of Americans. Don't you make this mistake. You know, a few years ago, I was speaking with three finance professors at a university, and they told me that in the uh, upper classes, they taught all of their uh, graduate, uh, graduating students that uh, when they go out to buy their first home, that uh, they should take out a 15-year amortized mortgage instead of a 30-year amortized mortgage. And I said, gentlemen, why do you do that? Now, they went, duh, duh. Maybe they meant Doug, I don't know. But uh, uh, if you just sock away a, a little bit higher mortgage payment, uh, it may be tough a few months, but by making the higher mortgage payment, principal and interest, you'll get your house paid off in 15 years, and then you've saved yourself a whole bunch of interest, and then you, you start saving the money you used to put into a mortgage payment, and at the end of 30 years, you'll have X amount of money, maybe $900,000 in a conservative side fund. <laughs> I said, gentlemen, your finance professors. Haven't you ever taken the differential between a 30-year amortized mortgage payment and that 15-year amortized mortgage payment, which is more, plus the tax savings? Don't spend them using a system. Sock away that differential in a conservative side fund. Let's say your right-hand pocket. And put it in there where it's liquid, it's growing, it's compounding, and don't kill your partner, Uncle Sam, the deductible interest in this pocket. And as you're growing the money here, it's liquid in case you need it. Otherwise, if you get into trouble, you have to borrow back your money. No, we've never done that equation before. I said, watch. If it took me just as long to pay off my house, I'd do it. But frankly, I can pay off my house sooner. They were flabbergasted. I punched this out on an HP 12C calculator. Gentlemen, there's enough money in 12 and a half years, even conservatively 13 and a half years. I can pay off my house a year and a half to two and a half years sooner using $25,000 of Uncle Sam's money instead of my own money. Or another way to look at it, at the end of you know, 15 years, I can pay off my 30-year mortgage and have $25,000 of profit left over. That's why I call it the $25,000 mistake being made by millions of Americans who are duped into using 15-year mortgages or sending extra principal payments to the mortgage company. That's on a $150,000 mortgage. Do you know how to extrapolate from this example? If you're listening to this and you have a $300,000 15-year mortgage, as far as I'm concerned, that's a $50,000 mistake. If you're sitting here listening to this and you have a $600,000 15-year mortgage, you're making a $100,000 mistake. You're kissing down the drain a hundred grand. Other than that, I don't have any strong feelings on the subject. Don't make this mistake.